Hello, it's Azumi, and I'm running Nerthus again, and this time uh, the video is pretty much because I can just run it on auto. So here we go with Saskia, Genesis Ymir, Lumiere, which is still really hard to beat this fight without Lumiere, Senia, and Notka. That's what everybody calls her, so so here we go. This fight is actually still pretty hard for the most part. It, it, it comes down to the wire for me, like every fight. It, I'll have sometimes one second left, sometimes I'll have 20 seconds left. So, But the main things that you have to worry about would be the field that she has which is void field which makes you the characters that don't have void resistance do absolutely no elemental damage but that is completely exploitable like I'm doing with Nadka and Genesis Shamir because I just put the strongest equipment on them that I have that hits the correct row and it, it does neutral damage but it still hits pretty hard so you, you can totally use that against her um, she also has aqua field so you're going to you're going to have to use aqua field high aqua field rings there's no real way around that or you're going to die pretty fast um her skill actually applies vortex to aesir humans and elves and vortex is just like a pretty strong version of stop so you're not going to do anything so avoid using those races. She targets the one, the three lowest health. So keep that in mind. And she also gives you a HP down debuff on her second and third HP bars when she hits you. So as far as the mechanics of it a little bit you pretty much have to kill the back two crystals before you can even damage her because they have a 80 percent shield so you as long as that shield is up you're only going to be doing 20 percent damage to her so you have to knock out the front crystals and then it takes around 15 or so seconds before the shield will go down and you'll see it up there under her health bar the little shield icon once that's gone then you can do full damage to her that was my biggest problem before is because I didn't have my gear wasn't set up correctly and it just became a big problem with trying to get it took me too long to get rid of the back crystals and then I would time out and even now I still cut it really close so um, of course the strongest element to hit her with is going to be earth but Dark also works pretty well, but Dark's not going to do anything to the crystals, so pretty much want to stick with Earth. You can use Therian, Beast, Yotan, and Dwarfs in this fight. Um, my old team that I used to do it with was 100% Therian, but I couldn't auto it, so I switched it around to this. That's why I'm I didn't why I'm using Genesis Ymir. Um some other characters you could use would be Awakened Ulan. She works pretty good as a tank because she's water and won't take a lot of damage. Um King from the Seven Deadly Sins collab works pretty good as a crystal crusher. I don't I don't have him. You can use the Lust Scion, um Froggy from the Rainbow Crystals and Mecha Fist Rin and from the looks of it the new Catalyst the guy Bergamir or however you say that uh, the old name might even be different when we get him is probably going to be really good for this fight so hmm, that's about it really Just make sure and farm up a lot of uh, high aqua rings to prepare for it and then just save up, try to get a lot of really good earth equipment.
Uh, I've heard some people say that you can do it without Lumiere, but it's probably extremely difficult. And about done. So I, I don't have a perfect win rate with this. It's probably about 85% of the time that I win, so... And here we go. We'll check out how much damage. Sometimes Saskia does the most damage. Sometimes Senia does the most damage. Thank you for watching.